In this video, I will show you how to create channel headers like this that will make your server look 10 times more beautiful. Open Photoshop and click on New to create a new file. Name your file and set the width to 3840 and height to 720 pixels. Make sure to choose pixels and the resolution will be 72. Set the background to transparent and click Create. Add a solid color adjustment layer and enter this hex code hash 313338. Then add another solid color adjustment layer with white color. Both of these are Discord's themes, so we need to make sure that the header image works on both, dark and light themes. Select the ellipse tool from the toolbar. A single click on the artboard will open a dialog box. The width and height will be 655 pixels. Click on OK. This will open up the Properties panel. If you can't see this panel, then enable it by going to the Windows and then Properties. Set the fill color to white or any preferred color. And make sure and to disable the stroke. Now, align the circle to the left and center. Now, add your logo and align both of them in the center. Select both the layers and press Ctrl plus G to group them. Now, select your logo, right-click, and choose the Create Clipping Mask option. Next, go to the toolbar and select the Type tool. Type your server name as the subtext. Go to the Properties panel and choose the font. I will be using Creato Display Black. For me, the font size is good, however you can change it if you want to, and align the text to the left. Now, hold Alt and drag the text to duplicate the text layer. Or else, select the text layer and press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the layer. Double click on the text layer to enter the main text and adjust its size so it fits nicely within the header. Now, as you can see, the text is going outside the artboard. I will use the crop tool to adjust the artboard size, leaving some space at the end of the main text. Select both the text layers and align them to the left. Select your server name, right click, and choose Blending Options, which will open the Layer Style dialog box. Change the stroke size to 4 pixels. The position will be outside. Change the color to gray. As you can see, it is visible in the white color too. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to let you know that I have recently launched my community server. We have a variety of channels where you can chat with community members, seek help related to Discord, play games, and much more. Also, if you're someone who doesn't want to handle the tedious work of server setup, you can hire me. I have launched my services, which you can find here. So, click the link in the description and I will see you inside. Now select the main text, right-click, and choose Blending Options. Enable the Gradient Overlay option and change the gradient.
I'll select the colors from my logo. I will also change the angle and size so that it looks a little different. Enable the stroke option and keep the same settings. Enable the inner shadow option. Change the blend mode to normal. Select the color as white. Increase the opacity to 100% and uncheck the global light option. Set the distance, choke, and size to zero. Now, gradually increase the distance. I'll set it to six pixels. Enable the inner glow option and select the same parameters that I have set. Now, make sure the artboard is big enough to fill in all the characters. For me, it's small. If I write information, it will go outside the artboard. So, I will increase the length using the crop tool. Make sure there is some space left at the end of the text. Hide the background color layer. Now, we will trim the edges, and to do that, go to Image and Trim. Make sure transparent pixels are checked, and all the options are checked except the right side. As you can see, it has trimmed all three edges. Now, to save the PSD, go to File, Save As, select any folder, and rename the PSD if you want to. Now, go to File, Export, and Quick Export as PNG to save the header image. If you want to make embeds like this, then watch this video.